Hey, y'all, and thank y'all for tuning in. We are back. Yes, indeed, we are. We are doing another food review. A nice mukbang, y'all. Yes, indeed. We have in and out now, y'all going to see what in and out has to offer. Now, typically, I try to keep it at $40 even, but hey, what can I say? I spent $48 today. I spent $48 today, y'all. And uh, we got a list of stuff. And they, let me see if they got it all right. What can we go? Ooh, what should we go through? You know what? I don't have the beverages on the table. I need to go get the beverages real quick. Now, uh, I subbed out on one of my orders, a combo. I subbed out a strawberry milkshake, y'all. Yes, I did. And then I also had a root beer float. They have root beer floats there, too, y'all. Now, that's a staple. Now, in and out I'm in Texas, y'all. And in and out is a California place. And I must say, before I get started, are you sure in and out ain't from Texas? Or is it just that they know... We're supposed to be friendly in Texas because they sure are friendly. And I have to give their customer service, their friendliness, a separate score on its own. And that is a 10, a 10, and a 10, y'all, because they are nice and they really try to get it right the first go around. Mm -hmm. But let's see if they get it right, y'all. Okay, what do we have here? These are some animal-style fries, y'all. Yeah, let's unpackage these animal style fries together let's do that when i say animal style fries i mean animal style fries now look y'all now these animal style fries are on the secretive menu y'all secretive they like to be stealthy with a menu i don't know if that's just a california thing but i love it i do love it y'all mm -hmm. so let's go ahead and unveil what these Mr. Reed Mr. Reed fries have to offer not to make space. Yes, you see this box. We ain't even got to what's in the box. We'll do that in a second, y'all. But let's get to these fries. Gosh, man, this plastic be so cellophane, man. Yeah, y'all, look at these. Y'all want some ketchup on these fries, y'all? Y'all want some ketchup on them? Mm, should we do some ketchup or should we taste them first without the ketchup? We should taste them without the ketchup, right? Mm hmm Guess what you're supposed to do, all right? Okay, yeah, those are animal-style fries, y'all. Animal-style fries. All right, y'all, what we got in this bag? Animal. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, all right, y'all. Okay, I see what this is. I see what this is. These are our order of regular fries right here, okay? Now, don't get it wrong. Okay, let's see. Right here, y'all. These are regular. These are well done, though. These are well done fries. So if you like your fries extra crispy, you get your fries well done. Oh, I dropped a couple on the table. Mm-hmm. So you got your fries well done if you want. Well done fries. Oh, look at that, y'all. Animal style fries just reappear. Mm -hmm. It looks like they got some like a cheese style sauce, cheese whiz, and style sauce cheddar. That is, and it's like an onions in here too as well. And some sort of special sauce. That looks like it got some pickle in the special sauce, but let's taste it. Okay. This sauce tastes like Thousand Island. That's what it tastes like to me. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna use this napkin real quick, y'all. Let me get that out of the way. So my snacks got my napkin last time. Okay, this bag gone. We said we had our fries in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. These are. More fries. They fry right, y'all. Now, I went to Brahms the other day. They a local eatery here in Texas. Okay? They got a strawberry milkshake. Strawberry milkshake. Y'all straw don't open up the right way. I got to come do this all delicate. No, it ain't how to do things in Texas. We just say we slam our straw. Okay. Now, 
okay? Okay, first thing first. Yesterday I wasted. If I was to tilt this over too much, y'all, look at that. That ain't how it did the other day. It seemed like it did, but let's take a sip because it dripped a little bit. That's because it was in the car. This strawberry milkshake don't taste like Brahms taste. Mm -mm. It's not, it's not thick all the way through. It's more like a um, yogurt. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna set that to the side. And let's try this root beer float. Mm. Let's try this. Root beer float, y'all. Okay? Now, I remember when I was a kid, I love root beer float, y'all. I just, I'll make it myself with my mama and them. Make root beer float. So, this take me back. Y'all, this root beer float right here. I hadn't had one in so long. But I remember how they taste. And I taste the root beer, but I don't see no float really. So I get the root beer, boat, no float. So that root beer float for me gets about a five out of 10. So a five is 50%. Do you want anything in life? That's 50% value, or do you want 100% return? You don't want 50% return when you put 100 in. No, y'all. So, but anyway, moving on to the next. So, if you're on a special diet or if you want to eat your meal a certain way, I understand that. And they they understand that they're in and out too. So, that's why they had this burger right here, y'all. Animal style. So, you don't have to have it animal style. But I just want to let you know it's the secretive menu. And this is part of the reason my bill is be above just the typical $40 range, y'all. Just a little bit above it, but it's still $48, y'all. So, Y'all, this burger right here is called a Flying Dutchman. That's what they call this burger. I agree with it, too. It's a Flying Dutchman, y'all. But, you know, hey, what can you say? You got to try it. But before I try it, I want to show y'all. Like I said, let me show that again. Okay. Let's go through these bags over here. All the bags. All the bags, y'all. All the bags, y'all. We got more fries over here, too, y'all. We got combos. So they, they were kind enough to put all the fries together. And again, the fries are okay. They ain't the best. And they gave me plenty of ketchup, too. There's plenty of ketchup in this bag right here. Just believe it, y'all. So, now, it's time to unveil. Did they get my order right all the way? <laughs> now I'm just playing. Let's just see what we have, y'all. I'm pretty sure they got it right. I like the way they put everything in this box, though. It makes me feel special, y'all. Look at all these napkins sitting on top, too. In and out. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. Way to go. This just look good. This look like I'm serving a catering event. Oh my goodness, y'all. Look at that. Do y'all see this? All of this. Amazing. We got fries and everything, y'all. I mean, come on. We got root beer float. Milkshake, supersized Coke, no ice, and they didn't put any ice in it. The last food review I did, remember, they put ice in the Coke. When you ask for a Coke with no ice, you mean you want a Coke with no ice. All right, so, all right, y'all, y'all see that? I mean, they, they got, they on point. They on point with their customer service. And so far, everything tastes good, y'all. This is leaning towards either convenient food or comfort food, but we gonna find out, y'all. We gotta find out because we got a box full of stuff. A box. This is the Flying Dutchman, like I said, y'all. So we got the Flying Dutchman. We gonna eat that. So this is the Flying Dutchman. Let's try the Flying Dutchman out first, y'all. Let's go ahead and try it. Move that bag out the way. All right. So it's not that hard, even with a plastic fork, to get through the patty. So we know the patty is not overcooked, all right? So we know the patty is not overcooked. Let me turn it this way so y'all really can see what's going on. Okay. 
You turn it so y'all see that. Y'all see what's going on right there? Y'all see that? That's what I'm talking about, y'all. So let's take a bite of it. If you don't like carbs, <laughs> go to In and Out. Okay. Lion Dutchman is good. What's this one that look like a garden? This look like a. Ooh, y'all. This is a burger wrapped in lettuce, and the lettuce is the lettuce is right. The way they package it up is nice, y'all. Come here, come here, come here, y'all. Come here, come to me, come to me. Do y'all see that? Do y'all see that? I mean, come on, take a look at that. And look at this box, though. Let's look at this box. I'm just, come here, come here, y'all. Come here, take a look at that box, y'all. Right? Y'all see them fries? Y'all look at, I mean, y'all just seen it. Y'all sainted it. I'm finna sainted it. Go for this right here, y'all. We talk. Oh, all right. Y'all, we got a lot of stuff in here to eat. All right. Uh, Damn. All right, so this is a single. That's what I want to show y'all right here. So this is a single and this one right here. Actually, I should show you. So that's the single. Look at the single, y'all. I should show y'all that in, the, in the, 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 the double because this is essentially the double without the, the, the veggies and all, I mean the, the lettuce and tomatoes and everything. Look at that, y'all. Y'all see that? Now, don't that look good there? It looks nice. Oh, okay. So this is the double. And look how this all packaged up. I will say though, this Texas. I like my burger to be bigger, so I like to go to local joints, burger joints. Mmm. 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 It's good. This is a grilled cheese. Look at that grilled cheese, y'all. Mm. That's real cheese. Mmm. That's not a combo over here. Mm. Mm. So, we gotta break this play. Yeah. I mean, come on, look. Mm, yeah. I got a burger in here. She ain't, she ain't down here right now. Let me go ahead and get a bite of it. She just come down here. Man, she's fast. Mm -mm -mm. Y'all, we've tasted everything except for this single patty, which is essentially the double, the double burger. But we got to eat everything before. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't need all these extra wrappers, but that's cute. That's cute. That's California cute. All these wrappers, but we don't need all that. The onions are good. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. God, we gotta rate this. Mm-hmm. We gotta rate it. What you rate it? This gets a 6.5.
Customer service is a whole nother rating. That's why I gave that separate. Mm -mm. Before you say anything, I gave a customer service a whole nother rating. Okay? Ambiance too. They keep that grass cut. They keep their lawn trim over there. And in and out. But as far as the taste and quality of the food, I have to give it a 6.5 reason why. <clears throat> the burgers themselves, I'll start with the burgers themselves. Patties are great. They taste phenomenal, but they're small. The burgers are small. They're not, they're really not that big. They're well shaped, well packaged. You know, if you want extra wrapping and things of that magnitude to help you hold your burger, they have that. So that's that's phenomenal. Um, but I've tasted better grilled onions. I've tasted better patties. The bun itself is nothing signature about the hamburger bun itself as far as when it comes to their flavor. Their fries are bland. They don't put any salt on them. They may put salt if you ask, but they're bland fries. And even if they did put salt on these fries, I wouldn't like them. Just the way they cook them, they don't they don't taste good. And it's not just you always fry your French fries. So I'm not talking about the frying method, but the the way they come out after they fry these shoestring fries, as comparison to other places I've gone to, they're not that good. And it's not just because I got the one order of well done fries, which they were crispy, and I could taste the difference between the well done fries and the standard of the traditional fries that In-N-Out does serve, y'all. The protein, Flying Dutchman, that they have was surprisingly good. I mean, the Flying Dutchman was the best one out of all of this on the menu to me. It surprised me. You know, um, the burgers are standard burgers, but if you want something and you want something that's efficient, Go to In-N-Out Burger. It is comfort food. It's not just convenient food. Or is it convenient food with comfort service? That's what it is, y'all. Is it is it convenient food with comfort service, though? I think it is convenient food with comfort service. And that's how they fool y'all. They give you great service, but the food is not that good. It's like going to a five-star restaurant, the ambiance. The service is great. The lighting is perfect, but the food is really not that good. Don't be fooled. Great job making your way down here to Texas. Keep it up, in and out I will go back to you because you have some good, convenient food, and I need convenience in my life, too, as well as I need comfort, y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in, and thank y'all again for your time. Now, if there's something that you feel that we miss or you want us to review, what? Let us know so we can add it to the playlist. If there's something that you want to see us cook, because you know what I do for a living, y'all, then let us know. I will do that. I will drop a recipe video for you. Now, y'all be sure to like, comment, and, and subscribe. And we'll see y'all on the next side. That's in your up next section in your browser. I ain't going to be nosy. Y'all already know it. But I'm trying to be in your browser and in your up next section, okay? So support me. Thank y'all very much.